Hi, this is Kylie Koo. This video was filmed around about five or six weeks ago, but it's taken me a while to get it edited. And uh, I've got a number of others waiting to be edited. I've just got a big, bit of a backlog, but you know, I'll get them all published as soon as I can. So meantime, let's get on with this, kind of catch up with the various projects that I hope to be working on in the near future. Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So the little clip at the start was taken on Saturday, just, I think, after I'd finished my page in my 52-week concertina journal. I'll say a bit more about that in a minute. I know some of you like to see the garden, so I just thought I'd include a little bit in it. So I'm calling this a studio vlog, art studio vlog, whatever. I just thought it was a little while since I'd given you a kind of update on the number of different things that I've got on the go. Also because when I put that video up on Sunday with this page, I said something to the effect that, you know, I wondered where I was going with my channel and so many breaks away from it, etc. And I think I kind of set hairs running. I'm not planning to leave. I'm still here. Can't say I'll be here for always. Well, I won't be here for always. We all know that. But uh, yeah, I think it's just sometimes when I've been away for a few weeks, it's then just hard to get back into the groove, to get that kind of rhythm again with making videos, filming videos, and then everything that goes with it. So... Sorry if I did kind of set hairs running, but thanks for all the lovely comments you all left anyway. Basically saying I needed to do what was right for me. Many saying you hoped I didn't go, but even if I could only do the occasional videos. So I do want to do regular videos. I'd like to do a couple a week. My reason for starting this journal was so that I would do at least one a week. Now, obviously, if I'm not at home, it's much more difficult to film, so... But, you know, I'm hoping I'll be back on this. But as I said before, you just never know where things will take us. So if you're a, a regular viewer, a regular Kylie Koo friend, then there's a few things here that, that you will have seen before and that probably haven't moved on all that much. The journal is now completely up to date. I am going to try and get my page for Sunday coming done early, although I don't know when this video will be up, it could be after the next page is done. But I'm pleased with the way this is coming on, really enjoying doing this. By now you should have seen another video, this was the collaboration that I did with Sharon from Texture Junkies and Peg from Two Old Crows, and I made this little fabric book that I was doing some slow stitching in and hopefully now you've also seen the kind of five or ten minutes of just me sitting working on one of the pages and listening to the birds in the background that really was peaceful you know this is not expertly done or anything but I really enjoyed it and I will be making some more of these fabric books in future. You may hear a bit of background noise, not my usual birds etc. They're there but there's other background noise so sorry if that interrupts at any point. So yeah I'm really pleased with that little book. It's something that I can see myself doing a lot more of. One of my issues is that I start so many projects and I'm sure some of you will understand this. You know, you start one thing, you move on to another. And for me, that's always been something that's been good because I like to pick up and put down things. But I think at the moment I've got too many projects on the go. So I think I'm going to try and bring a little bit of, of focus. After reading those comments yesterday, 
uh, I did start to think about the kind of direction of my channel. Not that I want to change change the direction, but I sometimes feel I jump about a bit. And this morning I went out for a short walk on a, a nearby beach. I was in the town for something else, but I just thought I'm going to take a little bit of time to walk along the beach and just kind of think about things, you know, without delving too deep. There's just something calming and relaxing and just kind of maybe just starts to help me think about the flow of things and where things are going. I don't want to get too kind of poetic here or anything, but yeah, I thought I need to start bringing focus because I've got so many things on the go and I just need to kind of bring a few things to conclusion. Some of those will be things that I will show here. And maybe this is another reason for coming back to some of these studio vlogs. I can show you a wider range of things that I do rather than just the things that I make videos about. But I had my walk along the beach and I've not reached any con real conclusions yet other than I need to kind of focus in on a few things. Picked up a couple of things on the beach. I don't pick up many shells just because nowadays that's not deemed appropriate. But I did pick up two pieces of sea glass. Not particularly interesting pieces, smoothed a bit, just clear, but I do like those. And I picked up one stone that I just thought was a little bit unusual, almost heart-shaped. Yeah, quite like that, like the colours on it. So I don't know what that is, but anyway. So, yeah, I'll show you a little bit of footage of that now. So being out in nature, whether it's walking through woodland, up hills, not that I do that very often now, or, you know, I'm by the sea, or even just in my garden, it gives me inspiration. But that inspiration now isn't always turning into a kind of real output. And that output might be, you know, when I'm talking about output, it might be no more than a kind of sketch influencing something in my sketchbook but I'm not even taking it that far these days so I need to change that again but let me pick up on a couple of other things before I move on to saying a bit more about that. You may recall this painting still not finished uh, I've got most of this recorded actually so at some point if I get around to finishing it I'll put that all together as a video. I'm still debating. You can see the stencil design in here. That was a stencil from PM Artist Studio that I got a while back. Uh, my feeling was to make that kind of like a moon. So yeah, I'm still not sure where I'm going with it, whether I'm going to finish it. So, put that to the side. This is my little scrappy junk journal. Now, I've done nothing in this since the last time I put a video up on it. This was really just my way of trying to use up lots and lots of little scraps. Quite a fun little journal, cardboard cover, and, you know, just abstracts. So I need to do a bit more because I enjoyed working in this. Yeah, so I'm going to try and maybe do some pages in that and, and maybe record those because I think there's a few of you quite like that. So 
get off to the side. This was a book that I started oh, two years ago, maybe, maybe a bit longer. I don't think I dated the pages. This was intended just to be a collage book. I ended up bringing in some paint, etc. Only did the two pages. I think they're both... I think there's a videos for each one, so I will link them if I can find them. But I think I'm going to start getting back to this and doing a bit of a collage in this, whether it's daily or every few days, don't know. These are wooden uh, plywood panels. I did start to prep these in a studio vlog ages ago. I don't even know which ones I prepped now. It's hard to tell. I think it's probably these two because they are just a slightly darker colour. But I want to start doing some work on these with acrylics. Right. Now, some of you will remember the sketchbook. I completed this. I decided I was going to get back into my creative process back in July last year. Look, I've still got some pressed leaves in there. Back in July, 9th July 23, uh, and that I was going to work for at least 30 days. And I worked almost continuously, didn't miss any of the 30 days. And there we go, started 9th July, completed 10th September. And I really, really took to this journal. I decorated the cover before I started. I then started this one. This was intended to be the same, that I try and do a daily. The cover's such that I don't think I can do the same type of thing. But I have not done any work in this for ages. 5th November. I think you saw some of this. There was a video with some of this. I loved this. I don't know where it came from in the sense that these books had been slightly different to that. But that was it. I've just put this in here. I want to stick it in because that was a gel plate that just by chance when I saw it I thought it looked amazing like a tree. But when I look at the other side I like it as well. So I think I'm just going to put a little bit, I'll either just leave it in loose or I'm just going to put a little bit of washi tape, just hold it in place and then I can look at both sides. But I want to get back to working in this book in the way that I did in this book. So let me clear a couple of these things off and then I'll come to the last thing I'm going to talk about for now. So back in January, I had started to work on some pieces that I was hoping I would put up for sale in an art auction. Unfortunately, that time, that was one of the times when things changed a bit in my life and I had to, to adjust a little and I didn't get them finished and they've remained unfinished. And in fact, earlier I had a bit of a panic because I couldn't think where I'd put them, so I had to, to hunt for them. This piece was just, this first piece was really just a kind of fun piece. Uh, it was based on a galaxy. I was calling it the Heart Galaxy. And it, I think, is more or less finished. But, you know, I was never very sure about it. I was then working on four other pieces, albeit one piece I hadn't actually started, but had it in my mind. And it was all based around three people. So you can see how far I've got with it. There's a lot of work needing done. I'd actually sketched this first on uh, Procreate in my iPad and I knew I wanted to have these three figures roughly being the same. One was going to be set against the moon, which was this one. One against the sun, which was this one. You can see there's a lot of background collage in here. You know, they need a lot of work, not just on their faces, but to bring this out a bit more. That had collage as well, but it's kind of got lost with the layers of paint. And then finally this one. I've got this stuck to my mat. So, oops. And this one was supposed to be more 
out in the universe. And I was going to do one more with Earth. So, I need to decide now what I'm doing with these. I need to finish them one way or another. They've ended up being... What's the word I'm thinking of? Flatter. No other way to put it. Flatter. You know, there's not the kind of texture level of... Yeah, they're just too flat the way they're looking just now. So I need to think about if I want to kind of really rethink these or bring something else in that means they don't look quite so flat. What was that? Possibly things sticking because I've had other things sitting on top of them. So, yeah, I think I can bring these to a conclusion. This one ended up much darker than it was originally intended, as did this one. This was supposed to be much, I don't know, just a kind of space thing and a bit lighter looking. So I need to decide if I'm going to, you know, there, there is texture in here because it is, it does have collage underneath, as does this one. But this is the one where the collage sticks out more. And I, I think I actually prefer the fact that I'm seeing more the collage in there. So, that's those. So I have a lot of things on the go, a lot of unfinished projects, as you can see. And I think I'm going to start to kind of focus in on these without starting a lot of new paintings. I will start one on the... I will start at least one, maybe two, on the plywood just to get that going. Because sometimes if I'm working on something like this, I then need to leave it dry a while. That, that was the benefit of doing the three almost at once. When you worked on one, it could be left to the side. These are all on paper. Uh, yeah, so focus on these. I'm going to get back to doing some bits in my little collage book, even if it's just a 10 minute collage. Working on the scrappy journal so I can show that on YouTube. Of course, my hopefully 52 week journal that I'm really loving. I'm loving how chunky it's getting already. I'm getting back to my big sketchbook. So yeah, right, it's Monday. So we'll see how the week unfolds. I'm not here tomorrow, for most of tomorrow anyway, but uh, I'm gonna try now and even get an hour a day in if, if you know, just to bring that focus. I need to have some time every day to do that. So, right, starting to ramble now, so I shall move on and uh, be back in a minute or two. Well, actually, I'll be back right now, as far as you're concerned. So, it's much further on in the day now, and I have actually spent since I was last on speaking with you, I've spent really, other than stopping for a bit of lunch, I've spent all that time working on editing. So editing the little fabric book video. So I've decided, I've not done my journal, my sketchbook page yet, but I've decided I'm going to start work on these panels. I really want to get these started. I'm certain these are the sides that I've already treated. I remember talking about this one because it was slightly faded, I think just because it had been sitting with light on it with another on it like that. I don't want to be putting more matte medium on just as a layer. I was just going to come in with some paint but instead I've decided to do a wee bit of collage on it so I'm just going to use these couple of pages and some tissue. I'm going to work on two at once and this will at least get these started. Just feel that a bit of collage will give a nice kind of base layer for 
like this, even if they get completely covered in the process of painting. It's almost up to the edge, it doesn't need to be perfect. Do you want to get any excess out though? Couple of wrinkles, I don't mind if it ends up going over the edge because I will go around that with some sandpaper to take any edges off. I don't know why I'm fussing on what goes where because it is just a, a base layer that is unlikely to be seen. Okay, I'm really going in heavy on that because I really don't want any air bubbles at all. Right, some of this now. And I'm just I'm gonna mix the same things over both pages. Both
And the rain has started. Surprise, surprise. Right, I've not got every centimetre covered, but that's okay because I think what I'll do after this, well, tomorrow, I'm going to let this dry out. If it feels dry enough first thing in the morning before I go away, I will put a layer of clear gesso over it and then I'll start to build up the paints on it. So, yeah, that's it for today. Right, it's Tuesday, around about 3.30 now. I did come into the studio first thing this morning, around about 8 o'clock, and uh, put a layer of clear gesso on these. Only took me about five minutes, and it's got a really nice tooth to it now. And that's just going to seal everything nicely, if I hadn't sealed this before. Though, as I've said already, I'm pretty certain I had. But it also means where there's these bits of wood where I've not put collage down, it should have sealed that now too. I did yesterday. I, I really like this kind of colour, or these colours together. So I had a couple of little scraps and just used them. I was interested in the fact that these marks, which were already on the sheet, it's like a little person on a hill, behind a hill. There I go. I did like that, so I thought I'm going to try a red, because I might now want to come in with a red. So I just tried this on here, just put this into my little sketchbook that I was on about earlier. And, uh, you know, so this is not about creating a nice page or anything. This really is just using this as kind of for ideas. So I liked the green colour, sludgy greeny colour, and this kind of lilac, I think. And I just put on this bit of red to see how that would look as a contrast. I like the fact there's a kind of black coming through this. don't know where I'm going with these. I don't have a plan. I'm just going to see where it takes me. I'm going to take a photo because sometimes I like to try and take photos as I go along because it's interesting to actually look back on them. I'm not trying to make these the same. It's just it's good to have the two on the go as I spoke about before. And, uh, you know, I might start off using similar products, but no doubt they will change as we go along. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes to, to next. Uh, I've just literally put up the little video showing how I attached one of the pages in my concertina journal and a flip through of where I am to date. So pages 1 to 16, albeit in the video, I think I said... 15. I'm losing track of the weeks, but there we go. I love dictionary pages on these because I end up reading what's there. That really does look like a little person, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, that will change. Right, on we go then. Catch you again later. So it's editing Kylie here. I'm just going to whiz through this next stage where I add this red paint. I actually filmed a lot of what I did on these two uh, boards, but it's really too much to show in this video, which is already very long. So I'll save that for a future video, or perhaps I'll put together a process video of the completed pieces when I get round to finishing them. But meantime, thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I really do hope to be back soon with some more of the videos that are sitting in my kind of backlog, including my 52-week concertina journal. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.